after you get SQL Monitor installed and configured and you're monitoring your servers, sometimes some of the information might feel like it's not easily accessible. For example, we are monitoring availability groups right now in SQL Monitor. And if you take a look at my screen right here, you can see that it says AG at the top of each of these two servers. And that's because they are taking part in an availability group. Now, if we were to drill into the details on one of these servers, we see the standard stuff we expect to see. And you can scroll around and see it, um, the weights and all these other things, the queries, um, you know, SQL Server metrics, all the, you know, just the standard set of things that you would expect to see, information about the server and the behavior of the system there. But over here on the left, if you notice, there's a whole bunch of other additional things that we can take a look at, including the availability group information. And now we see these are the databases under management in the availability group. Now, you may think that's all the information that there is, but in fact, there's more to this. And you can see that each of these is highlightable, therefore clickable. And if I click on it, let's say SQL Monitor um, Database Availability Group, it will then open up detailed information about the availability group for that given server. So now we can see all of my various clusters are all laid out in a different way and I can see how it's taking part, which servers it's part of, how the database is synchronized, and really useful information such as the send queue, the redo queue, the redo rate if any, um, the received rate, and all of that information. So we get to see a lot more detail. Now again, each of these things is clickable. Clicking it now though will take me away from the availability group information and it will go into other data that we would be looking at. So um, clicking on the database would take me to the, to the database details. Clicking on one of the servers will take me to that server detail. So you can see that we've got a lot more information available to us. There's a lot more data than, than is immediately apparent. And we can see more information about things like availability groups if we just follow through and click on the items that you see on the regular screens available through SQL Monitor. That's all I wanted to share with you today. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.